Hello readers. Today's story is a very fun little story about a young girl who dresses up at night as a cat burglar. Now that's not someone who steals cats, that's someone who sneaks around at night under the cover of darkness and steals things. And in the story it talks about someone called Robin Hood. So you need to know who that is so you understand that part of the story. And Robin Hood was a character from an old English story that used to steal things from rich people and give them to poor people. So you'll understand why that character needs to be known. I hope you really like the story of Leonie, our schoolgirl who dresses up as a cat burglar. The story is called The Poor and I hope you like it. The Poor, written by Natalie Jane Pryor and illustrated by Tony Denton. I love the back cover. The poor is bold. The poor is brave. The poor is unstoppable. Wow. During the day, Leonie was a schoolgirl. <laughs> At night, she was a cat burglar. While the world was asleep, she put on her cat costume and prowled the alleyways by midnight. <laughs> Nothing was safe when Leonie was about. The police were baffled and said so. Newspapers printed stories about her. They called her the poor. And if you look closely, it's like the newspaper article has been written by the author of this book. And also the title of the newspaper is the Daily Muse, which is very cute. Mew is kind of like meow. Leone was unstoppable. She stole bracelets from rich ladies with complicated burglar alarm systems. Uh-oh. Necklaces from high-rise apartments. and famous paintings from private art galleries. Once, just to prove she could do it, she took an old gentleman's false teeth from the glass by his bed. Oh no, when he wakes up in the morning, he won't be able to chew. Leonie studied the career of Robin Hood in detail. Remember, he stole from the rich and gave to the poor. She gave stolen caviar and turkey to starving cats and left $50 notes for orphans when their teeth fell out. A computer in her secret hideout kept records of people who needed her help. One night, while travelling to a burglary on her jet-propelled tricycle, Leonie met a policeman. Uh, I've been to a fancy dress party, she said. The policeman did not believe her. When Leonie refused to give her name, he took her to the police station in his patrol car. Later that night, she escaped through a double-barreled window. <laughs> Leonie hooked her tail over her arm and strolled down the street. Not far from the police station was a shop that sold opals. Above it was a flat where the owner lived. Leonie had been there before. She remembered some delicious biscuits she had found and decided they were worth another visit. She checked her gloves, strapped her super suction pads to her knees and climbed up the wall. With a diamond cutter from her utility belt, she cut neatly around the glass of the bathroom window. She wriggled through the opening and crept down the hallway. A light showed and voices rumbled in the sitting room. Leonie peeped around the door 
A gang of robbers had tied an old gentleman to a chair and were menacing him with a rotary fruit peeler. Tell us the combination of your safe, they snarled. Leonie's tail twitched. She reached for her clockwork mouse decoy, wound it up and sent it running around the robber's feet. Then, with a single bolt from her suction gun, she knocked the fruit peeler right out of the robber's fingers. Open up, please, shouted Leonie. She banged on the door and set off the siren on her automatic digital watch with 16 functions. The burglars panicked. Leonie ran to untie the old gentleman. She mopped his forehead with her handkerchief and helped straighten his glasses. Thank you, thank you, he said. But who are you? <coughs> I'm the poor, said Leonie, and she returned his false teeth, just to prove it. <gasps> that was the man whose false teeth she stole. The old gentleman put in his teeth and got out the delicious biscuits. He and Leonie drank strong tea from a silver pot and chatted about her career as a cat burglar. <coughs> Afterwards, he opened his safe and gave her a priceless opal as a reward. Leonie memorised the combination for next time. Do come again, the old gentleman said politely. I will, Leonie promised. They shook hands and Leonie clumped back out of the window and down the wall. She didn't need the opal for herself, so she put it in a Salvation Army box with a note. The sun was starting to come up and burglars all over the city were finishing work. Leonie hitched a ride home on top of a milk truck. Oh my goodness, we have got a alligator burglar and a cat who seems like he's walking his fish. And we have three, four, five burglars going down the street. This is a crazy city. Back in her hideout, she changed from her cat costume into her pyjamas and arranged her bed so that it looked as if she'd slept there. Her father was making breakfast in the kitchen. What are you doing up so early, he asked, as he handed her some toast and milk. Just prowling, said Leonie. And she poured her glass of milk out for the cat.